Hey guys, it's Makia FX and welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to be doing a GBP, GPY analysis, that's a pound versus the yen analysis. So as you can see, before I do my analysis, I always look at the daily time frame and on the daily time frame, we have an overall bullish trend. You can see since from October 21, prices have been bullish since then and i've drawn a very good trend line okay from this point to that point as you can see since from september 20 that's a yeah to to this year so overall the trend has been bullish and even up to now the trend is still looking bullish now let's go to the four hour time frame because that's where i'll be doing my analysis i'll go to the four hour time frame okay this is it so on the four hour time frame we realize that we're having a supply zone around this area just like in, in may right so as we can see as time keeps going the supply zone keeps diminishing and it comes to this area so this is our current month because this is july this august so for july august and september we're having a new supply zone that's around this place that's from 166 129 to 167 so prices haven't yet left this 167 zone is still doubling around this area as you can see so as you can see i've drawn my supply zone and this is my demand zone this is exactly where prices are going up you can call it support or resistance zone but i call it demand and supply because it's still the same stuff so as you can see when this trend line was broken when this trend line was broken prices came back to the demand zone and once prices came back to this demand zone it flew up like crazy going up to this supply zone and it started at at the feet of september that's this week prices came up from 160 118 prices left from 160 818 up till 166 to 63 that's about 600 pips anyways let's do exactly what we're doing so i draw my i draw a new trend line beginning from here going up to this place showing that prices have not yet broken this strong bullish trend okay now sorry guys for this guys so i'm sorry for that so as you can see prices react twice at the supply zone you can see this supply zone is a very strong supply zone as when prices came to this place it bounced back because of a strong sell momentum and also when it came back because it came to this area this is a an area which i draw this is a neckline this is a neckline in the four hour time frame you see at this area we have strong bullish momentum so prices come down to this area is being pushed because of this this strong bullish candle around this area so prices there was being pushed one two three four five and it came back to that same point but because of the strong because of a strong bearish momentum or the strong sales around this area prices fell back down and it break it break the neckline this small support line it came down to this area then now we're having another strong bullish candle around this area it means that the, the buyers are around this area as prices came to this area prices went up with a very, very strong bullish candle you can see the volume of the bullish candle around this area so this is also another little demand zone as prices came back to this demand zone there were some orders that were being placed and prices came back up as you can see if we still have a strong bullish candle from around this area then the market closes with this bearish candle and this bearish candle hasn't even closed the complete bullish candle so i am still like believe that the market can still go bullish in the course of monday as you can see right here so i still believe that the market can still go bullish during mondays 
so here's what i'm gonna draw i'm probably gonna draw a line around here like this okay market can go to that point to this zone and probably the market can fall back down because it must take a rest a little bit now this rest i don't know if it's gonna flow the line or it's gonna just break the line completely but if it breaks the line completely then if it doesn't hold around this area it means the market is going full-time bearish it's going full-time bearish but i know it won't go down directly like, like that but it might take some time you know it might come to this area bounce back then fall bounce back before falling completely but as we, we can see this area is a very strong sell area it's a very strong supply zone because whenever the market came to that area we have seen strong reaction this is the first reaction this is the second reaction and here is the third reaction but at this point we have two times like the market came to that zone two times as well as this area it came one two three four spikes four spikes that was last month sorry that was in august so as we can see the market is actually going to fall back down hopefully but if it doesn't fall back down then where we have seen we're expecting the market to break this area completely and move up to the next direction so if the market doesn't fall back down it's going to the next zone it's going to hit the next zone sorry for that yeah it's going to break the zone and, and hit the next zone So we are waiting to see the reaction on monday hopefully on monday by the end of monday we'll know exactly who are going to control the market if the bulls or the bears are going to control the market but from my point of view i believe that the market can go up to this area then fall back down and we are going to watch the reaction around this area if it doesn't hold then the market is going back down to this 160 818 so that's it that's my analysis for jpy during the week we can still go to the one week time frame we will still see some strong bullish momentum let us know that the market is still bullish as time goes on so prices can still go up to this zone it can still go up to this zone but we have to watch and see what happens by the end of monday will it break this area or will it go back to that area anyways i can still go to my one hour time frame and do some little peaks as we can see in the one hour time frame prices has still come to that same neckline you see that same neckline but for some reason prices break the net the neckline and it fell back down so by the end of tomorrow we are gonna know that's on monday sorry by the end of monday we're gonna know if the market is able to hold this zone or the market will go up yeah so that's pretty much it what are your thoughts on that leave it down in the comment section and you know share this video hit the like button subscribe if you're new see you guys in the next analysis thanks for watching bye